cards. What type of things do people collect in paper money? Well, a lot of people collect banknotes in their own country, or they collect. Uh, my wife, who's in charge, Claire, who's in charge of the banknote department, does a wonderful thing where she does um, a banknote of a country, and we have about 240 different countries we can supply banknotes. Or there are people who collect a country they visited and they want to have a souvenir or they want to collect a thing like that. Um, there is some thematic collecting, such as animals. Like my wife used to collect camels on banknotes. People collect for a lot of reasons. Tell us about this note. Right, this this is the new Scottish hundred pound note, and it has Sir Walter Scott on it. And you can see from the designs, it's the beautiful where they merge the designs on the print. Value. It's a hundred pounds, and it costs, including VAT, because unfortunately in Britain, if you sell anything over face value, you have to charge twenty percent tax inclusive. But we charge one hundred and ninety pounds for a hundred pound note. This next note is from Germany, East Africa, or in German, Deutsche South Africa, and it's got a beautiful portrait of the Kaiser on it. Uh, it's quite scarce, and it's when Germany had a, that was the only German colony in Africa, as far as I know. And value on that one? Uh, that one is 375 pounds, because it's a 50 mark note, and that was a 50 rupee note, rather, and that was a very high value. An extremely rare part sheet, proof of the old Australian hundred dollar bill. And it's uh, with the explorers on it, and it's printed on blue paper, which means in Australia that was a trial note. And that pair is 1,750 pounds. This is a, when Iran was Persia. This is a Persian specimen note printed by the American Banknote Company, and it's uh, 650 pounds. How do you counsel someone to get started collecting? I tell people to take the shotgun approach and not the bullet approach. Because the shotgun has a lot of little pellets, and I suggest when you're collecting to start buy what you enjoy, and as time goes on, it will narrow it into a field that you're unhappy with. If you try and collect too narrow a field to start with, then you'll probably be disappointed and be unhappy. 